What kind of black coffee can I order at Starbucks? So following up from the previous video that we discussed uh, non-dairy milk lattes, um, the conclusion that I gave over there was to have non-dairy milk added to a black coffee. So just to elaborate more on that, um, the feedback that I received, um, one of the conversations I had was with a person who was previously employed in Starbucks. And she explained to me that not all black coffees are made equally. Black coffee itself doesn't really pose a cautious concern um, with regards to the ingredients. At the end of the day, it's just roasted coffee beans and these roasters are dedicated to coffee and they're made in such a way that they're only really for co uh, coffee beans and just hot water. Now again, we're talking about unflavored coffee because flavored coffee uh, flavors are added afterwards and those flavors need to be kosher and so therefore flavored coffee needs to be kosher certified. But unflavored coffee um, doesn't pose any cautious concern. However, on a practical note, in Starbucks, not all coffees are made the same. Uh, the coffee that is made through a regular percolator uh, poses the concern that the brew basket is washed in the dishwasher and that dishwasher is washed with uh, washes all types of equipment that's used on all types of foods. Now, although Starbucks employees are trained not to put the brew basket in the dishwasher, on a practical note, as witnessed, many times the brew basket will go into the dishwasher. So because of that, the percolator has an issue with the brew basket being washed together with uh, non-kosher food or equipment that was used with non-kosher food. And so therefore, there would be an equipment issue with the brew basket. However, coffee that was made through the espresso machine doesn't have that concern. Parts used for the espresso machine cannot be put into the dishwasher due to the fact that they're not dishwasher safe. And if they were to be put in the dishwasher, it would ruin those pieces. So um, those parts are only washed by hand. Therefore, coffee that is ordered um, and was made on, those, uh, on the espresso machine, namely an espresso, or if someone wants something resembling a regular black coffee, they can order an Americano, which is an espresso diluted with hot water. Those type of coffees are fine to purchase in Starbucks and don't pose any cashless concerns. So if someone would want to have a non-dairy milk um, coffee, you would order a, either an espresso or an Americano and have the non-dairy milk added to it. Now, this is only in regards to Starbucks, like everything. Um, what practically happens makes a difference. And so therefore, the, the feedback that I received was only with regards to Starbucks. How they do it in Dunkin' Donuts, how they do it in gas stations or other places that make coffee, they could all differ and one would need to see um, how coffee is being made there. Another interesting note that I was told by this former employee is that um, the concern about using the steam wand is not only an equipment concern, but it's actually a concern of residual leftover. The steam wand in between products is only cleaned by wiping it with a rag. Now, practically speaking, inside the wand itself, there is a lot of residual milk that's left over there. So, Anyone using this steam one is not really a concern of dairy equipment, but it's actually a concern of dairy because it's not actually cleaned efficiently from the leftover residual milk. Uh, only uh, at night will uh, they make a full and proper clean to clean everything out, but during the day in between products that doesn't happen. Um, additionally, not only milk is uh, heated with the steam one, but they also heat eggnog. Now eggnog in general, uh, the ingredients that are used are not so kosher sensitive. 
However, it is still requires a kosher certification. So only eggnog that is kosher certified would not pose an issue for the steam wand. However, um, that would need to be verified and to make sure that the eggnog used is actually indeed kosher certified. So, um, because additionally, apart from milk that is left over in this uh, in the steam wand, you're also going to have um, residual leftover of eggnog. A note that I wanted to add: Starbucks essentially is a non-kosher restaurant. Culturally, it's been acceptable to order coffee at coffee houses because regular coffee doesn't pose much of a cashless concern. However, Starbucks is different than that. It did start off and it's primarily known for its coffee, but the way Starbucks has evolved, it's evolved into a non-kosher restaurant. Similarly, where some will not go and order a coffee at a McDonald's, Starbucks really should be kind of treated on the same kind of way. So when going to Starbucks, uh, be aware that very, very limited um, product can actually be bought there. Most of what they do is not kosher. If you want more, uh, uh, more of an idea and understanding of what can and can't be bought in at Starbucks and the issues that they are at Starbucks, the Chicago Rabbinical Council, the CRC, put out an article with extensive research um, explaining how Starbucks works and what you can and can't do there. And you can search us on the internet and I advise you have a read. Mm -hmm.